Hello everyone, hope you all are well. Welcome to Future Proof Accountants. And today I want to talk about a recent topic that we had webinar on. How can you create specific custom GPTs for your clients? This was particularly uh, talking about accounting and bookkeeping practices, but it can be used across a lot of service industries as well. So whilst we are available for our clients, it is a good idea to create a custom GPT for our clients when it's trained by you um, as a service provider. And then when you're not available, the client has something to go to. So obviously we talk very much in detail about the issues and things that we can resolve. Um, but my favorite thing that we talked about in that webinar was the three phases that would really help in creating a good and successful GPT for your client. So number one is a preparation phase where you identify the client needs, you discuss their pain points, or you actually create based on your understanding of your client pain points and then uh, launch it across all your clients. Then you will gather the data, you will collect all the frequently asked questions, and you know, getting clear exactly what is the goal of GPT and working around it would be your first phase. Second phase is going to be your creation phase, where you actually set up the custom instructions. You train the GPT with the right content and you can train it with your videos, your PDFs. You can train it with your frequently asked questions, compliance rules, and then test it out again. Testing once it's not enough and testing by one person is not enough. It's a good idea to test it yourself, to get it tested by your junior team, by your senior team members, um, and actually make an effort to create, to make it create the accurate results. Now, an example of this is where we created a custom GPT for, um, for it to tell the amount of tax that client has to pay. So when I initially created it, I just put all the formulas and everything. And then the GPT, it's very good at answering. It, it's not correct all the time, right? Uh, so you have to train it correctly. So it was just giving me the tax return amount based on the, um, the current financial year. It didn't ask me whether the client has health insurance. It didn't ask me the questions it should have asked. So again, then I trained it back saying, hey, you need to ask me these, these questions. This will, this will happen if this, you know, if this person has got insur uh, private health insurance. So you need to tell it everything. So treat it like an intern. So once you've done preparation phase and creation phase, and now we are happy with it, now it's time to have a party, have a launch phase where you actually can now share the GPT link with your client um, and then Again, even in the launch phase, what I would recommend is starting out with, you know, a couple of your clients who trust you a lot. And then once they have successfully uh, used it for a month or two months, then you can launch it to the whole market. And then you've got this extra service. Um, and that's what we need to need to do. We need to be ahead of the technology game, create some really cool stuff for our clients so they can rely on us and we can provide best service. I hope you found it useful. I hope you will get into your preparation, creation, and launch phase for your client's GPD service, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.